Okay, so here's the quad lock setup I've gone for. I've gone for the motorcycle handlebar mounts. I've gone for the poncho, and I've gone for the S21 case because that's obviously the phone that I have, and the vibration dampener because a lot of modern phones, like the S21, have a very sensitive anti vibration, well, sorry, um, an image stabilization system which makes you, you know, stops you shaking around all over the place and if you don't use that then there's a chance that your phone could get very very damaged by the vibrations from your bike and as i have the mco1 oh it was more important that i went for this because the bike is very very vibey anyway let's go on uh, get them out of the boxes and have a look what's in the boxes okay so we've got everything out of the box so we've got the main bracket which just basically mounts onto the handlebar you've got some different size spacers and you've got the part that actually mounts onto your phone. Then we have the poncho, which just slips over the top of the phone. And then we have the case itself, like so. And you can see on the back of the case, you've got like a special locking system that locks into this here. We'll talk about that more in a minute. And then we have the vibration dampener. Now, basically what the vibration dampener is, is just a couple of bits of plastic with some rubber dampeners either side so your phone doesn't wobble all over the place anyway let's fit that to the bike and uh, check it out by the power of Skull. okay so you can see i fit the first part of the bracket it was the first spacer fitted perfectly around my handlebar just a small allen bolt there and fitted nice and securely so now we'll fit the next part of the bracket Here's the next part fitted on. Again, just fits on with a nice, easy Allen bolt. I've put it this way for now just to see how well that pans out. And now the vibration dampener's fitting in place. You can see there's a movement, you see? And that basically means it takes out all the vibrations directly from the bike. And now we've just got to fit the locking mechanism to the top here. So we now have the quad lock completely fitted onto the bike. And the idea is the phone just locks onto this system here, which I'll show you in the next step. Okay, so we've got the case mounted on the phone and we've got the bracket mounted on the bike like so. And the idea is that we just slowly fill till the prongs have actually gone into the back of the phone, a little bit of pressure and it locks on like so. And the phone is now solidly on the bike. It's not going anywhere. You have a little bit of movement from the um, anti-vibration dampener as well. But that's all good, it stops your phone vibrating around like a nutcase. To remove the phone, you just push the little blue lever and twist it back the way you came. You can also mount the phone horizontally. Same process, just fill for the brackets. And there you go, phone's locked in place. All good to go. So a really straightforward system. Again, to pull off, just do the complete opposite. Push the blue bit away from you. To release the phone. There we go. And just mount on the bracket. Just feel for the uh, prongs to meet up with the bracket, the case. Phone locks in place, and there you have your phone, ready to go. Like so. And it's easy to be easy to use on a bike. Now I'm only going to use it really for when I need to go away and I need access to the um, GPS and stuff like that. So I'm not going to be using it all the time. But otherwise, really good uh, solution to uh, having your phone or having some sort of GPS in front of you without buying all of the kit. If you want to get the quad lock, just check out my link below. Uh, there's a link there to get 10% off uh, your quad lock kit as well. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, please give us a like and check out my website. Cheers.